faster. You want your boat to pick up more speed. And yes, that can happen as a result of bumping up the rate, but a lot of times it's just really making sure that you're A, staying clean, and B, matching with the rest of your crew and not letting the wheels kind of fall off going across the line. That's right, and some people might disagree with you on that just to get the rate up as high as they possibly can just for a good time, but you are absolutely right. When it comes to actual rowing strategy, in all seriousness, you are absolutely right. Uh, it is about moving the boat, not just moving water and moving body weight around, because every time you move that body weight around, you have to pick it right back up again, so it's like doing uh, 200 to 250 deadlifts or so over the course of a 2K. That is a lot. That'll be a no for me. Thank you. And we have the start of the Men's Masters Open D Category Quad. And this is looking like a, a pretty fierce start sequence. Have a couple of boats shifting a little bit within their lanes, but they seem to be getting them under control as we have this wonderful aerial shot again. In lane one, we have Ex Nemo and Riverside Composite. Lane two is the Texas Rowing Center. Lane three, Potomac. Lane four, Virginia and TriStar Composite. Lane five, Atlanta. And in lane six, Hampton Roads. That is absolutely right. And we are looking at lane two, Texas Rowing Center as our current leader. We will jump over to lane four as our second place position. That is Virginia and TriStar. Here, lane two, there you go, Texas. Again, absolutely blistering pace towards the 500. And again, if we know anything about Texas, we know what happens in the second 500. Pretty predictable there. They will definitely start to make a push and perhaps bring the rate up just a little bit. Now, I swear, I feel like we've seen that lineup in a Texas, maybe straight four and Cox four at this point. I just can't get over how many of these athletes are, you know, not only doubling up, tripling up, quadrupling up, back to back to back and it is you know impressive and especially like the discipline of flip-flopping between sculling and sweep is you know I think a real testament to their abilities as athletes to really just be blendable and be game for any boat class and any race oh you are absolutely right about that we have so many people jumping into so many different boat classes and with so many friends and parents and siblings and all the different combinations so it's really been a lot of fun uh, so here we are again looking at Texas again, starting to bring it up as we come towards the 200 to go. But do, do keep an eye on X Nemo and Riverside. This is a heavy Schuylkill River and uh, Boston uh, contingent here. X Nemo comes from all over the place here. So uh, do keep an eye on this race that will most certainly unfold. But Texas Rowing Center again running away with it as we speak. And then we will look over to lane four. That is Virginia and TriStar. So Virginia and TriStar out of Knoxville, Tennessee. Texas Rowing Center crossing the line now first with 36 strokes per minute. And then it will be Ex Nemo and Riverside followed by Virginia and TriStar. Followed by, I believe that was Atlanta. Was that Atlanta in lane five, stroked by William Van Dresser. And then lane three, Potomac with Sherman Knight. 